Hello guys and welcome back. Just a few days ago, Roblox has announced a new feature called the Win Factor. Or maybe did they call it Global Win? I think the Win Factor would make it sound much more cooler. Anyway, it's something that's going to make it very windy inside your games. Just like I'm in right now. You can see it's very windy. So now let's go to Studio and see how we can add wind to our games. So here we are inside Roblox Studio and according to Roblox, this feature is still a beta feature. So we're going to do the same exact thing we do to all beta features. We're going to go and enable that beta feature first. So we're going to go to File, Beta Features. And we're going to look for the wind factor or global wind. So I'm going to look for global wind first and I don't see global wind. Let's look for the wind factor. I don't see the win factor either. First time in history we have a Roblox beta feature. There is not really a beta feature. This feature now is actually available inside production and you don't need to do anything to get this feature. Just go to your workspace and go to the properties window. You're gonna look for global win. Right now it's all zeros, it's the default. If you go and change the values of global win, let's say I change the X component to 1000, hit enter. Immediately you see it's windy inside my game. To make things easier for us, Roblox has provided us with something called the win widget. So to get the win widget, you're gonna go to your view menu tab and click on win direction. This is my win widget right here. You can change the speed, the yaw, the pitch, just dragging this bar here or you can change it by dragging the green circle here and the arrow whoops there we go you can also enter specific numbers in here let's say if you don't want 1000 here you want to change it to let's say 500 just enter 500 here, hit enter to change it to 500. Change back to 1000, hit enter. Now it's back to 1000. Another way you can bring up this win widget is to go to your global win property, click on the numbers here and click on the three dots to toggle on and off the win widget. And now let's play test and take a look at how the win looks inside the game. So here I am inside my game and it's very strange because it was very windy inside studio but it's not windy now. Oh, there it goes. It just got really windy now. So in fact it took a while for the wind to take effect but now it's very windy inside the game. This new feature is going to make your games much more interesting now because Let's say if you have an outdoor tennis game or outdoor basketball or soccer game, now players would have to take into account the win factor before they make their shots. So let's now add a ball to our game and let's see how it works. I'm going to go and add a ball. I'm going to color it red. And let's play to see if the wind is going to affect the ball. So where's my ball? There it is. And again, we're going to have to wait for a while before the wind start to blow. And there it is. So the, the wind is blowing, but my ball is not moving. Apparently, this new beta version, the wind can only affect smoke, fire, and anything else that has a wind effect property. So I'm now going to go to my part here, and I'm going to do Control D to duplicate a couple of times. I'm going to move my new parts out. For the first part, I'm going to go to Model, Gameplay. I'm going to add some effect to it, and I'm going to add Fire. And immediately, you see the wind is blowing the fire that in that direction. For the second part here, I'm going to go and add Smoke. And there goes the smoke. And for the third part, I'm going to add some particle emitter. 
And look at that, it's kind of strange because the wind is affecting the fire, the smoke, but the particle emitter is not being affected. It's just going straight up or almost straight up. It's not being blown in the same direction as the other two. So what it is, is the particle emitter has a property that you can turn on and off to indicate whether it should be affected by the wind or not. So I'm going to click on my particle emitter. I'm going to go to the properties window, go to almost the bottom or at the bottom. First thing you want to do is you want to check this box here. Wind affects drag. Check that box. And still nothing is happening, right? Because you have to change your drag here. It cannot be zero. So it has to be anything that is higher than zero. And now you see the particles are moving in the same direction as the wind. The global wind property here is a vector three. So if you want to use scripts to script that property, to script the global wind inside your game, just go to your service script service, add a script. And you're going to set your game dot workspace dot global win equals to a vector three dot new and you can set whatever values you like in here for example 100 0 0 let me go back and turn off the wind over here first so that we can be sure that it is the script that is causing the wind and not this right here is so already preset so I'm gonna go back to my wind factor the global wind and I'm gonna make everything zero 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 okay so now there is no more wind inside the game and if it gets windy later we know it's the script that is making it let's play and take a look and you can see it is windy look at that oh now it's windy very interesting so the grass did not the wind did not affect the grass at first but it affected the particles emitters it affected the smoke the fire and the particles but not the um the grass that's very interesting it took a while for the grass to start to move and lastly, I have something that's going to make all the physicists out there very happy. And here is the script. So this script is from Roblox. They're declaring a bunch of variables up here. And then they have this very complicated formula down here. This is something probably nobody's going to understand except for the physicists out there. And maybe the eighth grade math students. But you know, once you pass 8th grade, you're going to immediately forget everything you learned in 8th grade. With one exception, the physicists, they will remember their math sines and math cosines forever until the day they die. Anyway, let's play and take a look to see what this thing does. I assume it's going to make uh, the wind more realistic. It's going to go on and off. So again, there is no wind right now. Um, the fire is not going. The smoke is not going. The particles are going a little bit. I think the smoke is starting to go a little bit. Starting to move, but not a lot. Oh, I, I feel a wind gust now. And now everything is starting to move in, moving to the left. Right guys, so that's how you add wind to your games. Thank you for watching and we will see you again soon.